I woke up at 5.30 a.m. Do you know what? I realised I'm not the only one in the 5.30 a.m. club. I sat down this morning on the other sofa looking out of the main window. I'd seen runners, I'd seen a dog walker, I'd seen the milkman, a newspaper delivery man. I actually see him every morning and it's great because he's always on time. If the newspaper delivery guy doesn't turn up, then there's something wrong with the world. I wanted to shout out and say, Kiri, well done for being up early like me. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Anyway, I've got stuff to tell you and I need to be quick and I need to be quiet because GB is still asleep. It is his birthday in the next few days and oh my goodness me, I had an idea and it just came to me and I can't believe I'm going to do this and he doesn't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, which is just, I can't believe I'm doing this. His birthday is on Monday. It is now Thursday. Yesterday, Wednesday, I randomly decided I would offer, I wouldn't just go ahead and do it because it wouldn't be fair. I would offer to make over his office. If you know him, you will know that this is a huge, huge deal. Please do excuse my hair because I'm not ready or anything this morning. It's now just gone half six in the morning. So he is about, so I've got to be a bit careful with what I say. I've said to GB that things will move around because I think that's his biggest fear is that he won't be able to find anything. My mum used to always say, Shay, you can fit an elephant into a matchbox. I want to make him a lovely space to be in where he can read his books or where he can watch sport or whatever he wants to in that room. The colour of the paint that I have chosen. I was thinking on the back wall as you enter the room, we'll go for an olive green. I'm really hoping that the colour is an olive green and not like a horrible green. Do you know what I mean? Because I haven't done any testers or anything like that at all. It has an arched ceiling. So I was thinking one wall and then possibly the bit just below just to make like a cosy corner area. All of the other walls, I haven't got my glasses on, but I think that this says China Grey. These two colours will look really nicely together. They do in the camera. I need to get ready and I'm going out early. I really want to be in Milton Keynes when it opens. So I quickly Googled that this morning. Does anybody know what time Ikea opens? Nine o'clock, half eight, nine. It opens at 10. Don't they know that people are waking up at 5 a.m. ready to get down there? I'm gonna to pop to the Primark that's just over the road and I'm gonna be super good in there. Do not let me buy anything other than possibly a pair of pyjamas. I would like some cosy pyjamas. I'm already beginning to feel autumn vibes. Autumn is around the corner and I want to be prepared because as soon as the temperature drops, I want my cosy pyjamas on. Today is such a busy day though because it's my long gym session. GB also has football and we're going to a comedy night tonight. So I am gonna be absolutely whacked by the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. That took so much longer than expected, but it's definitely worth it. I've got myself a caramel macchiato. It's always a tradition that I will have a caramel macchiato on my way to Ikea. I now cheers my friend, my friend Mikey, who passed away earlier this year. We used to go out for a caramel mac every so often and have a catch up and he's no longer with us. So cheers to my lovely friend, Mikey. I'm gonna head off and I'll see you there. Right, we have just pulled up to Primark. I am a lot later than expected. It's now 20 past 10. I don't know what's happened this morning. I was supposed to be here at nine and then we're going over to Ikea and I've got a long list of things to get. I'm out of Primark. I didn't get a lot. Although this is a big bag, there's not very much in it, but I am so excited because I did buy this. How cool is this? I mean, 
I have loved this in Primark for a while and I just feel like Rachel from Friends in it. I mean, I love how wide it is and I love that I can't see anybody and they can't see me and that I'm in disguise. <laughs> I don't know what GB will think to this, but I really don't care. I think it's wonderful. I really love it and I'm going to put a black long tie ribbon on the back. So the hat, I need my glasses, £9, £9, fantastic. Then I bought these starlets. I love the feel of these and I wear them under my pyjamas and I buy them in a medium which is a 1214 and I think they're £10, a powder brush which was £2 and a cream blush £1.50. So that was all I bought. We're now at Ikea and I've got that bubbly feeling growing like in my tummy. So driving around from Primark to Ikea, this always happens to me. I just like get excited about getting inside. I need to go to the office part to get GB's office ready. I'm so excited about that. And then there's just a few bits that I need. So I'm thinking about like dark olive green for GB. I also want to pick up an extra blanket for our living room. I want to pick up an extra runner. There's just a few things, but I'm just so excited. Let's go in, let's go in. Definitely need a trolley, not one of them blue bags today. <music> you go around all of the showrooms as well, just before you go into the shop. I do, I love it. It's just like a house museum. Here's some great inspiration for GB's office. We've got the Poang and the stall, and then we've got the Billy Book shelves but ours are white and hidden around the corner he's got a stand-in desk but loves this sort of color colorways i really like how they've put that lamp at the back over the poang just a little table next to his poang chair so he can put a drink some books few bits and pieces under there that he's looking at so there's the bigger one that's 12 pounds although the smaller one is nine i'm gonna go for the smaller one actually just to give him a little bit more floor space this is a standing desk so we've got one but not this version gb absolutely loves it he spends most of his day now standing up all meetings he stands the version we've got is from amazon have you seen on Instagram how you can use these to create a book storage? I want to look for these. Do you ever walk around Ikea and then completely lose your trolley? I've got no idea where it is at the moment. I'm currently looking for the bamboo version of these. I think they've sold out because everybody's following the trend that they've seen on Instagram. I have just spoken to somebody, apparently they're not actually dish racks. They are plate racks, so I was looking in the wrong place. So let's go over to the plates. Let me go and find my trolley. These are those plate racks that we're looking for. But there's one there. Yay, found them. The idea is that you use command hooks on the back. You stick them to the wall and put your books on. And I think these would be fantastic. So I'm gonna grab some of these. Some of you may know that I am an early years advisor. These are fantastic for your child's nursery or school nursery. Just have a selection of very good quality early years books inside each section all the way along. And then your child can easily reach a book. So would 100% recommend these. olive green dark green throw for his sofa or for the armchair for when he's reading i'm laughing because if he could hear me saying that 
he would be like, I don't, I don't ever do that, Cher, which he doesn't ever do it. The idea that he could cozy up on the sofa or if we watch a film in the office, which will become like a snug area as well. This is lovely. How much is this one? So that's 35, sort of like a rough woolen texture. This one's nice. It looks brighter on the camera than it is. That is, is that 35? That's 35 as well. This is like a cotton throw. That one's 15. really nice on the little table as a reading light seven pounds the base and then we've used these bulbs before so I know that they give a lovely warm light I made myself some marmalade on toast. I made some for GB as well because he's hardly eaten today. Now that I'm home, I've had a quick check on the herbs. All is looking good. The mint is looking really good. I harvested some basil the other day and that's already shot back up. I've created a herb kitchen series and my first episode would have gone out before this vlog. So do refer to it, there's some really simple recipes. I was really hoping that two items would turn up during the Herb Kitchen series. One did arrive, I have mentioned it already, and that's the Herb Book. I would say this is a really good idea to get if you are interested in growing herbs. There's lots of beautiful pictures and ideas in this book. But as I say, I was waiting for two other items to arrive, and they've arrived. So the first one I wanted to show you was neem oil. I don't know if you have found this, is that you can get little black, almost like fruit flies. I don't know what they're called, but they are like a tiny, tiny little black fly. And that's sometimes because you've overwatered. I just bought this on Amazon. This is allowed to go on herbs. It's completely natural. And this will just keep those bugs down. So I'm just gonna give them all a quick spray now. I sort of spray down at the roots. Obviously wash your herbs when you are cooking with them and using them. But this is, oh, it smells lovely. It smells of mint. If you are starting out with herbs, I would definitely recommend neem oil. This is exciting. I was so pleased when this arrived. I don't know how you go about using your herbs and cutting your herbs. I use, is it called a pestle and mortar? No, it's not, is it? What is it called? A pestle and mortar, I was right. I wasn't sure, but I was correct. We use a pestle and mortar to break up the herbs. So this is what we currently use, but it's not always ideal. And sometimes you want things chopped. I have invested in some herb scissors. Shall we give them a go? Wow. Wow. These are so cool. Look how tiny it's chopped things up. That is so, so cool. Oh, I'm going to go and show GB. He will love this. Look what I've got. I thought you'd like that. It's gonna be so handy for our cooking. Look how small. So I just found those on Amazon. Brilliant. At the moment, I feel like looking after herbs is a full-time job. I'm really getting into it. I need to get my gym kit ready, GB's football kit ready. Then we're going off out. Then we're going to the theater. That would be awesome tonight. So yeah, lots to do before then. <laughs> Bit. Normally GB would drive me down to the gym, but unfortunately there's three-way traffic lights and unless I walk He's not gonna make football and I'm not gonna make my swim <laughs> 